and welcome to another review from Colour with Claire. Today I'm going to be reviewing some paints. These are fine tech paints, they're made in Germany and they are highly pigmented, very, very shimmery paints. They can be dissolved with water in a brush, just like watercolours, but you can also use them for calligraphy so you can put them in your nibbed pens as well. So they can be mixed together with water and they are made of mica and gum arabic. So they're completely free of any animal ingredients. They're made entirely of these two ingredients. So there are no filler materials like gypsum and this allows the pigments to shine in their full brilliance. So mica is a product that's made of minerals and these pigments are known to be very light fast and they don't oxidise. Gum arabic is a natural product made of the hardened sap of the acacia tree. So it's all very, very natural and there's no nasty chemicals in there or anything like that. Now, as I did mention, they are very light fast and very rich in pigment. They're handmade in Germany, so no two pans are the same. And they have this beautiful wavy texture which is made in production and they're just absolutely stunning to look at. Now as you can see you can get them in these little plastic cases and each pan lifts out so that you can swap and replace and just so you can see in the light there how beautifully shimmery they are. Now each pan is 30 millimeters in diameter and they're quite thick so you're getting a decent amount of paint there as well. Now, this is the six pack, obviously, but this is a custom pack. So these colors have been put together for me to review, but you can buy them individually as pans or you can buy them in made up sets like this. So they've got a fantasy set with lots of pinks and purples and things like that. So you can buy them in all different kinds of ways, really versatile. Now, as for price, each individual pan is between three to four pounds. So they are, not cheap, but they are very, very high quality, so that is what you would expect. You can buy these sets for between 18 to 25 pounds. They are available on Amazon, but in a very limited quantity. Um, so you're best to go on either the calero.de website to buy all the different sets that they have. I'll put all the links in the description, um, or you can try and find other art product retailers as well. I'll leave loads of links so you can just find what's best for you, where best to buy them. So as you can see, this lid turns into a bit of a palette for you to mix your colours if you wish. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you how they look on white paper and more interestingly how they perform on black paper. So let's get a bit of water on a brush and they recommend that you put a few drips of water on each pan and leave it to sit for just a couple of minutes because that sort of softens up the pigments a little bit and just makes it easier to pick up and paint with. So we're just going to put a few drops of water on each pan and then we will test them on this white paper. So as you can see, they've all got different name labels. We have an Arabic gold, which is my absolute favorite. You'll see how beautiful and luscious this gold is. We have a golden orange, red, lavender, peacock blue, and moss green. And all together, there are 34 colors at the moment that you can buy. So let's see if we've let this sit for long enough. Yep, so I don't know whether you can see, I'll try and bring it up to the camera, whoops bit fiddly but you can just see all these pigments and gorgeous sparkly loose mica in there just floating around it's absolutely lovely so let's see what it looks like on this white paper so first of all you might notice that the paints are very opaque they're not as transparent and thin as watercolors so you do get this beautiful lay down of sheer colour. Hopefully that's showing up, yes. So obviously on white paper they're not going to look as bright and vivid as they would on black which you'll see in a moment. But I'm just going to swatch them all out for you anyway so that you can see them. Now with them being a little bit thicker than watercolours 
They are good to use in ad most adult colouring books because you don't need to add a lot of water to get a really bold effect. As you can see, you really don't need much on your brush at all, just a little bit, and it just lays down this lovely thick colour and it's so lovely and sparkly. So yeah, ideal for adult colouring books because they're not as wet, you're not going to need to apply as much water and you're not going to buckle your pages. And this just adds something, you know, an incredible touch to your colouring pages. So this is the red. So these pans, even though they are on the expensive side, as you can see, are probably going to last you a long time because you really don't need much at all. So value probably worth the money that they are being sold for because they will last longer than your average paints. I think it's really nice as well how you can sort of customise your own palette. So you can buy these pans all individually, you don't have to buy a whole set the next time you run out of one of the pan colours and you can create your own palette of colours that you probably use more frequently than others. Here's the peacock blue. So obviously, as I said, on white paper, they're not fantastic, they're nothing mind-blowing. Um, you get a gorgeous sparkle in the light when it's in reflected light, but just to look out without the light, they are quite dull. But just wait till you see them on black. This is the moss green. Okay, so that's all of them swatched out onto white paper. Let me just bring it up to the camera a little bit. And you can see in the light, they're really lovely and shiny. That gold especially, that's my absolute favorite. So let's try them on black paper. Some black paper here. In fact, I'm just gonna turn this around so I've got a bit more room to work with. Okay, here we go. So, here we go with our gold. Just making sure it's still wet enough to get lots of pigment on the brush. And just look how bright that is. It's incredible, absolutely lovely. And you can just add a slight bit more if it's not opaque enough. Let me just bring that up so that you can see the incredible shine on that. I mean, you can't, you can barely even see the colour when it's directly in light because it's just so shiny. And let's have a go with the other colours. So you might be thinking, well, most colouring books have white paper, and you'd be right. But there are some colouring books out there for instance, the midnight kinds of colouring books, which have black backgrounds, and these will be absolutely perfect for those. There's also Spectrum Noir Colorista dark pads, which are colouring pads that are all on black paper and they have a UV resist to the design, and I'll show you more about that in a moment. And what that basically means is that even if you go over the lines, it will just resist it and you'll be able to keep in the lines without much effort really, so it's ideal. So here is the red. The lavender. quite a bit of water on this one. That's quite good actually because then I can show you just this beautiful um, 
mica, hopefully you can see, it just moves around and it's so shimmery, it sort of moves by itself. I don't know whether you can see that. Sometimes it can be quite hard to pick up shimmer and glitter on the camera. Here we go with Peacock Blue. The paints themselves to paint with, they feel so luxurious. They're sort of in between a watercolour and a gouache. So they're just a bit thicker than a watercolour, but they're not as dense as a gouache. And lastly, we have the moss green. There we go. So that is all of the colours tested out on white and black paper and I'll just move that so we can see the difference. So you see how on white paper they look quite washed out, you can see quite a lot of the white underneath and it, in some cases they look really transparent, whilst on the black paper you can see that they are completely opaque and incredibly visible on this paper. Now I was talking about the Spectrum Noir Colorista Dark Range. Here is one of the dark pads. As you can see here it says it has thick spot UV and I'll show you what that means now. So you can see this shining in the light here and this is the UV resist that I was talking about. So you've got um, your design which is as normal just um, a line, line art design but the lines themselves have been coated with a resist so this kind of feels a bit plasticky, a bit glossy, and I'll show you what happens when we try and paint with these fine tech paints. Oh my gosh, just look at this water. That's my brush cleaning water. How incredible. Look at all those mica pigments. Okay, so let's have a go at, oh, Arabic gold. It's my absolute favourite. And they do have quite a few different golds as well, more bronzy um, types of gold, and they're all beautiful. But as I say, there's 34 different colours you can get, and that includes some very translucent, shimmery, um, pearlescent type of paints as well. So what I'm going to do is, let's start with this flower. I'm going to go right up to the edge. I'm going to be as careful as I can, but if we do go over, see you'll notice I went over that line there and it's it's just coming out, it, it's resisting that paint, it's pushing it away. And let's go over here. So you see how these three lines have just resisted everything, I've gone over them. So it's ideal as well if you, like me, do not have a steady hand and you're always going out of the lines. And the paper is really thick as well so you can use lots of wet media on it and it will take it no problem. So I'm actually colouring over the lines here, not sure whether you can tell, colouring on top of the lines and it's just resisting it completely. So I've done that flower with one loaded up brush and I've still got some on there as well so you can see that it does last a long time. And I'll show you a little bit more that I've done with these colours and find the page here we go so you can see that I've used the blue and the lavender I've used the gold the red and the moss green as well and just really really bright and shimmery I absolutely love how it shows up on these card on this kind of black card now with the spectrum noir colorista dark you can also get tags and these are brilliant for gifts and you know putting little notes on the back and things like that and these are all thick spot UV resist as well and here is one that I've done with some uh, Spectrum Noir metallic pencils 
and you can see how they really show up on this paper. So yeah, you can get these tags, I'll be linking everything in the description, and these are ideal to use with these fine tech paints. So I hope that you have enjoyed this review of the beautiful fine tech paints. As I say, everything will be in the description. If you have enjoyed it, please do subscribe to my channel, it really helps me. And I'll see you soon on Colour with Claire.